It is a mystery from the depths of the ocean. During the past 30 years, the number of stellar sea lions in the Gulf of Alaska has dropped dramatically, 75% gone in the North Pacific, and no one seems to know why. Hazy may know, so the 15-year-old sea lion in British Columbia is wearing an array of scientific instruments. The animals are used to having numerous different devices on the harnesses so that we can monitor different things from uh, acceleration to depth to heart rate, uh, various different things. What kind of energy are sea lions like this one using to find food? And are they eating enough of it? Food here comes by the bucketful, anywhere from 8 to 33 pounds of it, just like in the wild. Right now what we're doing is uh, trying to look at the energetics of the animals. Um, when they're swimming, they're putting out that energy from whether they're satiated or fasted. What they are finding is not yet conclusive. Everything from overfishing to disease and ship strikes may be to blame. We have animals that are completely trained, and yet they're doing things on a scale that the wild animals do. Um, and so they're helping us bridge that gap to make these connections between the two groups of animals much clearer and easier for all of us to understand. Wild animals as mobile researchers helping scientists preserve their species. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.